This is Chippy from UMPC Portal. We're at IDF 2013. Day one, we've had a lot of bay trail information today. I want to show you a reference design uh, from Intel. So bear in mind, reference design, <laughs> but it looks just like that Harris Beach Ultra that we tested. Incredibly slick. They're really making great reference designs right now. So this one's quad core bay trail, four times 1.46 gigahertz uh, processors here. Um, and we've got a huge, uh, well, 10.1 inch screen with a huge resolution. I think the resolution was two. 2560 by 1440. 2560 by 1440, so this is bigger than a full HD screen here. Um, we've got connected standby here, we've got sensors in here, we've got HD graphics which come from the, the Sandy Bridge genera generation. Um, obviously, uh, less performance than what we saw on Sandy Bridge Ultrabooks, but significantly more performance than on um, other, um, you know, Clover Trail platform, for example. Now, I'm not a big gamer, but uh, Sasha Palmer of Mobile Geeks, who's, who's doing the videoing here, has been playing with um, Halo Light, right? Yeah? Yes. Uh, and it was good. It yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. And I, I'm probably not going to be able to uh, get this up quick enough for it to be uh, interesting oh, on this video. Cool. But uh, I, was wa go. I was watching Place the... Your thumbs. Here we go. Here we go. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. There you go. So, so let's just say, I, I, we don't know what resolution this is running at, but just the smoothness is great. You I know, would guess 1080p. You, you, maybe 1080p, but you, we really got a smooth experience here. Very smooth experience. This is fantastic. So bear in mind, you've got the whole of this sort of Windows 8.1 gaming environment, app environment, and then you've got Windows you know, straight into Windows 8 uh, desktop. Let's take a quick look around the device. It's not that relevant because this is a, 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 a sort of um, a sample device. So power here on the uh, right-hand side. We've got power, we've got screen rotate log and a headset port, camera and can camera notification light. On the other side, there's nothing down here. On the bottom, we have, um, well, that, I don't know what that could be, but look like it could be a SIM card slot for a, for a, a SIM card. Uh, micro HDMI and probably a standard. But, uh, oh, I don't know, I think that's, um, I don't know what that is, that port. Looks like a... a USB 3.0. USB 3, yeah, with a, the, a B-type a B port. Yeah. Anyway, um, we can't really, I can't really tell the weight, actually. There's so many cables attached to this. But, uh, but trust me, it's light and it's not hot. So this has been sitting here demoing all afternoon, and it's really not hot. So Intel are talking about, well, 10 hours battery life on a, on a device of this sort of size and weight. It's really difficult to tell um, exactly what sort of scenarios that battery life will be in, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be competitive. So we've got performance that's more competitive with the latest ARM-based uh, processors in terms of you know um, gaming and stuff like that. And then we've got Clover Trail, 2x times Clover Trail performance for your Windows apps and HD uh, graphics performance, you know, up sort of 3x performance. So really getting into the very usable area of Windows 8, um, clearly in Windows 8.1 on this anyway. So let's quickly look at the reference design, Bay Trail uh, T, running Windows 8.1 here at IDF 2013. My name is Jimmy, thanks for watching. Good job.